So now we'll be going through an exercise, and this will teach us how to set up and deploy with the NPM bundle generator. After this exercise, you will have learned how to create a LifeRay theme project with LifeRay theme generator. You'll know how to deploy the theme to your LifeRay instance, as well as how to apply the theme. So we'll be taking the following steps in this exercise. First, you'll install a new LifeRay Tomcat bundle in a new bundles folder. You'll set the Tomcat bundle to developer mode. You also install the LTS version of Node.js. And if you're a Mac or a Linux user, you'll redirect the npm global command. You'll install Yeoman and the LifeRay theme generator. And then you'll start the LifeRay Tomcat bundle as well as deploy the activation key. We'll have to complete the LifeRay setup wizard for the first time starting it up. And then we'll create a new theme to deploy and then add gulp scripts to package.json. Then we can get to work on filling out the banner image description as well as creating web content that utilizes the banner image. Add the Livingston banner to the hotel landing page template and then viewing the web content in a page. So after this exercise, there will be a few bonus exercises that I won't be going through but that you can try out for yourself. And this includes changing the theme back to the classic theme as well as exploring the new theme project and adding some CSS to the custom SCSS file in the source folder and deploying the changes. But with that, let's get into our exercise. So we're going to start by installing a LifeRay Tomcat bundle. So we have our LifeRay folder right here in our C drive, and we're going to go into it and create a new bundles folder as such. We're then going to expand our library DXP into it. So I'm going to come back out to my C drive and I'm going to move it into library. I'll drag it into bundles and then I'll use 7-zip to extract here. Now we're going to set our Tomcat bundle to developer mode. So we're going to actually find from our exercises folder, which is in my downloads. I'm going to copy this portal ext.properties file. I'm going to put this back into, into our DXP. So we'll just copy it right here. And then the Tomcat bundle is in developer mode. So the next step for us is to install node version 10.15.1. So we're going to go to the link provided. If you don't have it, you can look at my URL bar nodejs.org download release v10.15.1. We're going to find the appropriate installer for your operating system. So I'm on a Windows, so I'm going to use MSI or Microsoft installer file. You have to work through the installation. Now click through the installer. And so here, Node.js has been installed on my machine. Now I'm going to come over here to my terminal, and then I will run node-v. I'll come over to my terminal, and I will run node-v to verify that node has been installed. And then I will type in npm-version to double check that the appropriate version is installed. And this version will be six and above, six.x.x, where x could be anything. So if you are on Mac OS or Linux, you'll also need to redirect the npm global command. So from your user home, you'll be creating a .npmrc file. So I'm currently on Windows, so analogous would be the C drive, but you will navigate to your user home and you would use the command touch npmrc to create this file. Now you'll add the following line to this file. So I'm going to put it in my notepad. But in your .npmrc file, you should have the following line. Prefix is equal to users slash, and then you would replace this bracket with your username, and then .npm packages. You'll save this file, and then you'll have to open up your .profile file. So this will also be in your user home. And from here, you'll add the following two lines to the end of your profile file. One is export npm packages, have this as the same 
location that you used above. And then you'll add this to your path by copying the following snippet. You'll have to save this file after you make these changes to .profile file. And then you'll have to restart the terminal for the changes to take place. Now we'll be installing Yaleman and the Liferay theme generator. So you'll navigate to your Liferay folder. So I am in my C drive and the Liferay folder. You see that I have the bundles in here. So I'm on the root level of the directory. And you'll be running the following command, npm install dash g yo. And this will install the Yeoman and the gulp dependency. So there's a few warnings at the top, but at the bottom we see that everything looks all right. So the dependencies have been installed. Now we'll be installing the generator liferay theme or liferay theme generator. So we'll run the following command, npm install dash g generator liferay theme. And then we'll put at version 9.x.x. We'll run this to install the liferay theme generator. Right here, we see that the Liferay theme generator has been installed. We can run yo in the command line to see that it is installed. And then we'll choose get me out of here to leave the dialog. So now we'll be starting the Liferay Tomcat bundle. So we'll go into our Tomcat server's bin directory. So we'll start from the Liferay directory that we're currently in. And then we'll have to find our bundles folder, then the Tomcat folder, and then the bin. So we'll go into the bundle, and then we'll go through our Liferay 7.3, Tomcat, and then bin. And then depending on whether you are on Windows or a Mac slash Unix system, you'll be using a different command to get it started. I'm on Windows, so I'll be using Catalina.bat run, but if you are using Mac or Linux, you will be using Catalina.sh run. Hit enter, and then this will take a couple of moments to get started up. And after this gets started up, we'll be moving an activation key into our server. And so from your downloads, I have my activation key, and this should be present with your exercise source as well. And then we'll go back to our C drive and go into our life ray in our bundles folder. And from here, we will go into our Liferay folder. In our deploy, we'll actually paste the activation key that we had just copied. So control V to paste here. And then this will deploy as your server gets started up. So we'll come back here to wait for it to finish loading. So we will see that the server started up with this message. We'll come into our browser and then we'll go to localhost 8080 to come to our Liferay instance. And now we'll be completing the Liferay setup wizard. So for portal name, we'll actually replace this to Livingston Hotels and Resorts. For the administrator user, we'll change the first name to Josiah, and then the last name to Copeland. And for the email, we'll type in josiah.copeland at livingston.com. We can click finish configuration here. And then I agree for terms of use. 
we'll type in a new password. And then we'll type in a password reminder. And from here, we have our LifeRay instance and we see that it started up fine. Now we'll be creating a new theme to deploy. So we'll go to our LifeRay folder. Because my other terminal window is currently running our LifeRay instance, I actually have a new terminal window open and so you might have to do the same. And we'll run the following command. Yo LifeRay theme. From here, we'll call this my test theme for the name when it asks. We'll hit enter to accept the default ID that it's asking for. And then we'll choose 73 by navigating up and then pressing yes. We'll type in Y, and hit enter to accept to add font awesome to our theme. And then for a deployment strategy, we'll have to go up three times with our arrow key, even though we can't see the cursor, and hit enter. And then it selected local app server for us. Now we'll have to enter in the path to our app server directory. So I actually have that copied in my clipboard, but this is the path for my Tomcat installation. You might have to change around the numbers for this. Now I'll press enter. Press enter to accept the default URL, which is localhost 8080. So now we'll deploy the theme. So we'll have to go into our theme folder. So I'm in my life rate directory right now. But if I ls, I'll see that my test theme is there. So I'll navigate into the folder, my test theme. And I'll run the command npm run deploy. So this will create the deploy task and run it. and We'll see at the bottom, it will finish deploy after a couple of seconds. So this will take a while to get loaded up into our instance, but from here, we can go into our browser. So I'll open up Chrome and then go to localhost 8080, which is our LifeRay instance URL. From here, we'll go over to the menu in the top left and we'll click Site Builder and open up Pages. Now from here, we'll click the configuration icon or the gear right here next to public pages. We'll scroll down and find where it says change current theme. And we'll see that our theme has been loaded into the list of themes that we can choose from. We'll click this and we'll click save. And then we'll click home. And we see that this theme actually is the base theme without any customization like it was previously.